Hey friends, on today's episode, you're gonna find out why I'm wearing my guest jacket from high school. Stay tuned for the next Taylor Swift chair. It's 1989. I started with this sweet little antique chair and I'd had it in my garage for about a year really and I decided for the 1989 chair it should be painted kind of a beachy blue if you look at Taylor's 1989 Taylor's version it has a lot of these blue colors you see she's by the seaside there's seagulls there so I felt like a distressed beachy blue was going to be the right thing for this chair and from there I took a jean jacket. Now, this jean jacket has a lot of significance for me. It is um, a guess jean jacket that I had back in the 1980s. And since this is my interpretation of the 1989 album, I thought it would be fitting to get a jacket that I wore back in the 1980s. Now, this is a replica of my jacket. I actually found this on Poshmark. And so the tricky part was, how do I actually put this on a chair? Because I've never done anything like this. The real challenge was positioning this and making sure it looked right. So I figured, okay, the back of the chair needs to be the back of the jacket. So here you see me trying to figure out, you know, uh, is this exactly the way I want it to look? Is it centered? And I really didn't know how this was going to turn out when I just started working on it. But I thought, you know what, I have to at least try it. And if I don't like it, I can take it apart and take it off. But once I got that positioned in the right way, I just began stapling it in. And, you know, it was kind of history from there. I cut around and um, just, you know, it's, it's, it's a thicker, it's a denim. So I had to be very careful not to scrape the sides of my chair. And then I did something a little tricky. I left the collar wrapped around the top of the chair and decided to trim around it. Now I needed a fabric for the front of the chair. And so I chose a striped, uh, beautiful blue and white fabric. I felt like that was a beachy vibe. It was also kind of a rugby feel to it. And so I applied that to the front of the chair, even though the jacket was going to go on the front, because I knew it would be unbuttoned a little bit at the top. And if anyone ever wanted to unbutton it, I wanted there to be something covering the top of the chair. So I just worked with this beautiful linen fabric, um, tried to get all my stripes straight. <laughs> and then I positioned that front of the chair around it. And so I thought, do I want to button it? Do I want to leave it unbuttoned? But eventually I decided to button it most of the way up and began to staple on and trim it. So here's what you see. You see that collar still intact. And then I went to painting 1989, just freehand on it um, and just decided to try my hand at it. So here you see me going for it. 1989, that's when I was a teenager and that's when I wore this jacket. And um, it just took a few coats of paint. I just used a very small paintbrush and um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I took the upside down triangle guess emblem and cut it out and put it up on the pocket as well as made in America. I'm going to tell you about these patches because they are amazing and I had them made for me for the chair. But you can see how the striped fabric looks so beautiful with the distressed paint. It's a very beachy vibe and that's why the seagulls work so well. So I got these amazing patches. I'll put the links to everything below. They're also on my blog, but this is actually from Letter Mom and she made these for me specially. So they work so good. I positioned them all over the jacket and I couldn't be happier with my 1989. So I've shown you my lover chair, my reputation chair, my folklore chair, my midnight's chair, Fearless was next, then Evermore, and I had Red last month, and now here's 1989, and we only have two more chairs to go. Stay tuned to next month. I am having so much fun designing these chairs. We have two more to go, and if you want to find out more information about all the products that I used on this chair and want to see more pictures, head on over to my blog. It's at chairwhimsy.com backslash blog. I also have the link below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, friends, go ahead and do so, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.